everyone how are you feeling today and this is your teacher nana i'm back with another session for the class 6 so welcome everyone welcome to swift learn swift learn is india's most sincere learning destination for the classes 1 to 10 we are providing 100% live and interactive classes so these are key features we have the detailed progress reports swift learn academic test series and that is why you can take unlimited practice tests from swift learn and we have the subject test for school exams so get ready book your free trial class today itself and get ready to enjoy the art of learning with swift learn and everyone if you like this session please like comment and share and if you are new to this channel please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon and you will never ever miss any important updates from us and over here so today we're gonna learn about disease and hygiene part 2 so these are these are today's topics and we're gonna learn all these things today so the types of communicable diseases ways to prevent communicable diseases non-communicable diseases ways to prevent non-communicable diseases good and bad habits so are you ready so if you are ready get ready with your book and the pen and let's go so let's just revise what we have learned in the previous class so in the previous class the part one we learned about the congenital and acquired disease and we learned about the communicable and non-communicable diseases and we learned about the disease caused by bacteria and disease caused by protozoans disease caused by viruses and disease caused by the worms so we learned all these things in our part one health and disease chapter so please revise it then you can get an idea about coming chapter as well so all right so types of communicable diseases depending upon transmission that is a today's first topic and over here so the types of communicable diseases depending upon the transmission we can divide into mainly three categories so the first one is the airborne diseases or droplet infection so what is that so which means when we are coughing or sneezing we used to cover our mouth right by using our knees or by using some tissue or cloth why are we doing such things otherwise when we will sneeze or cough the droplets will spray it in the air and it will inhaled by the healthy people so if we are sick the disease will transmit into the healthy person because he inhaled it already right so that is airborne disease or droplet infection which will transfer through the air or transfer because of the droplets so please remember always cover your mouth when you are coughing or sneezing so next one is the insect borne or vector borne diseases so which will carried and caused by the organisms so the organisms which carry the disease causing pathogens from the source or the infection to the healthy person without getting affected so that is the insect borne or vector borne diseases such as the uh, malaria and typhoid and all those things thank you yes all right so the next category is waterborne and foodborne diseases such as diarrhea typhoid cholera are the some diseases caused by using contaminated food and water so some of the diseases can be spread or you will get sick by in taking the contaminated food and water so make sure that you are drinking very clean water and in taking clean food so or always careful don't try to buy rotten or semi rotten vegetables and the fruits from the market because the food can lead into food poisoning because it will contain some micro micro bacteria and the next one is contact disease look at over here this is the first and foremost source of 
spreading this contact diseases because of the direct contact. So diseases as cabbies, ringworm and conjunctivitis are spread by direct contact. That is the first scenario. And the next one, by sharing articles of an infected person. So these are the two main characteristics or the reasons behind the contact diseases. So drinking glasses, mugs, coin, door handles used by the infected persons are main source of infection. If a person having all this, uh, if a person having the contact diseases, if you are using or if you are sharing the things which have used by the infected person, we will also get the disease. So please careful, please take proper vaccines and the medication to prevent all these diseases. So what are the ways to prevent of communicable diseases? What are the ways? These are the ways. So here we have stated some of the ways to control and prevent communicable disease. So we have to be careful regarding our personal cleanliness by taking regular bath. So at least try to take bath twice a day because now we currently are suffering due to COVID-19, so we have to maintain a healthy, hygienic life. Second one is washing hands openly. And the next one is cover drinking water. Please make sure you're drinking clean water. Avoiding touching your nose and the mouth. Yes, that's a good technique to prevent all these diseases, especially COVID-19. And the next one is cover dustbins. It is a good idea. So the flies and all those things won't, the infect won't touch it and spread the germs by using like that. So the food item not exposed to the flies. So always cover all the food items. Then we can prevent some of the diseases due to the contaminated food and water. So maintain a social distance. So these are the some ways to prevent the communicable diseases. All right. Now, let's understand what are the non-communicable disease. So, non-communicable disease means which won't spread through the direct contact. But, there are relaying a lot of another uh, reasons behind the communicable disease and its spreading. So, these are the contagi non-contagious and they are generally caused due to the deficiency of some vitamins or nutrition or malfunctioning of the body or the organs. So here we go. This is a statement defining the communic non-communicable diseases. So please write it down. So now let's expand the communicable diseases. So the nutritional deficiency diseases, which means a nutrition is not there. So it's lacking. That is why this type of disease arises. So, when the supply of nutrition is done in the right amount and right ratio according to the need of the body, we call it as a balanced diet. So, as I mentioned earlier in my previous classes, it's really important to follow a balanced diet for a healthy living. So, what is the balanced diet? Balanced diet means we will include all the nutrients such as the protein, carbohydrates, fats and water and rough fish according to the need and amount. We have to be careful about the need and the amount of certain proteins or certain minerals or certain nutrition. So when the diet lacks specific nutrition, it leads to deficiency disease. Example, lack of protein in the diet leads to protein energy malnutrition. So please careful. In, try to intake a lot of proteinous food, then we can avoid the nutritional deficiency disease caused due to the lack of protein. Over here, the protein energy malnutrition. These are the two examples for that. So the first one is the Cavachior Co. And the next one is Merasmus. These are the two diseases which is caused by the malnutrition of protein. So, Kwashi or core is it affects the children from 1 to 5 years of age. And over here, the Merasmus, it affects the children up to 1 year of age. 
So look at the age group. The quasi or core will affect one to five years, and this is up to one year. Marasmus will affect the kids up to one year of age. And quasi or core occurs due to the deficiency of protein in the diet. Marasmus occurs due to the deficiency of protein and carbohydrates. So, when we are lacking the protein and carbohydrates, we will tend to have marasmus before the age of one. And the child suffers from edema of legs and the face as a main symptom or the characteristics related with the quasier core. And when it comes to marasmus, the child does not suffer from edema. So that is the one. I hope it's clear. Please take note of this one. And vitamin deficiency diseases. Vitamins and minerals have specific functions in our bodies. Their deficiencies lead into several diseases. So we have two types of vitamins, fat soluble and water soluble. So fat soluble vitamins are vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin D and vitamin E. And water soluble vitamins are vitamin B and C. Over here. Now let's understand some of the vitamins and the sources and the disease which is caused by the lacking of certain vitamins in our body. So the first one. First one is vitamin A. So we can find the vitamin A in oil, fish, milk, butter and egg. So, if we don't eat all those things, we will lack vitamin A. Then it will lead to night blindness. So, vitamin D. Vitamin D we can find from animal fat, milk, ghee and butter. And the disease which is caused by the less amount of vitamin D is known as rickets. So, next one is vitamin E. We can find the vitamin E in all vegetable milk and egg yolk and hemolysis and sterility are the diseases which is caused by the less amount of vitamin E. So vitamin K. Liver, spinach, green tomatoes are the main source of vitamin K. Hemorrhage. Hemorrhage is the disorder or the disease we will get due to the insufficient vitamin K in our body. So vitamin C. Lemon grapes, tomatoes, orange, apples, veggies are the main sources of vitamin C. And scurvy is a disease. So the vitamin D we can get it also from the sun. So take some sunlight during the early morning. If you, have, if you are suffering from vitamin D deficiency. Now we have some more vitamins over here. So vitamin B2. We can find it in cereals milk, egg and liver. The disease is slow growth. So vitamin B4, meat, fish, cereals and peanuts. Inflammation of the tongue. Vitamin B12, we can find it from mush, meat and fish and anemia is a disease we will get if we are suffering from vitamin B12. So vitamin B1, we can find it from cereals, wheat, carrot and milk and very very as a serious condition which is related with the malnutrition of vitamin B1. So please try to include all these things according to your calorie need. So the night blindness. If a person is suffering from night blindness, he won't, he won't have the vision like during the night time. Have a poor vision in dimly light environments and during nights. So very, very causes loss of muscle strength and paralysis. Scurvy causes general weakness, anemia and gum diseases. Rickets have weak and soft bones and skeletal deformities. Hemorrhage, it refers to rapid flow of blood from ruptured blood cell or blood vessel caused due to lack of vitamin K. Now, mineral deficiency diseases. We will also suffer some diseases due to the mineral deficiency. So minerals are needed in smaller quantity for the growth and development of the body. Minerals do not supply any energy to the body, unlike the nutrients. 
humans get most of the minerals from the plant resources and over here so these are the important minerals sodium requirement as 2.5 grams sources are salt milk and the eggs this is as muscle cramps next one potassium 5 to 7 grams daily and we can find it from milk banana vegetables and the fish and the disease is paralysis next one is the calcium 1 gram daily milk egg cheese and fish Ricket is a disease phosphorus 1 gram daily milk egg cheese fish and bajra are the sources of the phosphorus disease is bad teeth gum problems will relate to the phosphorus deficiency and iron 25 gram for the male and 35 grams for the female Bajra, apple, banana, green veggies are the really great sources for the iron content. Anemia is a related disorder which is due to the lacking of the iron in our body. Alright, so we have some more minerals such as iodine, cobalt, magnesium, sodium, chloride and copper. So iodine requirement is 20 gram. Sources are salt water fish seafood and the disease is goiter you can see a lump around your neck it's because you are suffering from goiter because the iodine is very less in your body so we have to improve your salt intake cobalt one milligram daily made yeast fish and liver are the great sources of the cobalt pernicious anemia is a related disorder which is related with the cobalt deficiency magnesium 350 grams for the male, 175 grams for the female. Vegetables, grains and the seafoods are the greater sources of the magnesium and the diseases increase irritability. Sodium and chloride. Table salt, muscle cramps as related with that. Copper, 1 to 1 1.8 milligrams daily. Liver, kidney and legumes are the sources of the copper. Appetite. As the disease which is related with this one and all right so degenerative diseases do you know what is meant by degenerative diseases which means such diseases which is occurring due to the malfunctioning of a body organs of the hormonal secretion and these organs are pancreas heart and kidney islands and bone joints diabetes mellitus so diabetes mellitus is also known as the sugar, sugar disease because which is related with the insulin level, level of our body. So it can be hereditary and lifestyle changes and can get any age. The cells of pancreas secrete hormone which is known as insulin. All right. So the insulin is related with this disease. Symptoms, frequent urinate, fatigue, weight loss. Some people will tend to gain weight or some people will tend to lose weight when it comes to the diabetes mellitus. And how to prevent or how to record or how to minimize the disease. Insulin injections and the medications are taken to control it. And heart diseases. Causes are stress and high cholesterol diet. The blood vessels that supply blood to the heart muscles are called coronary arteries. Symptoms coronary arteries become very hard. It can lead into angia, which is a temporary chest pain. And how we can avoid it? We can avoid it by lowering your cholesterol and stress. Please try to do a lot of exercise daily and you can do it. So arthritis, it's a joint disease. Some people, especially the elder people, will have joint pain and everything, which is related with the arthritis. So we can divide the arthritis into two categories, such as rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. So what is meant by rheumatoid arthritis, which is means you will have the spelling, pain and stiffness of your joints. So treatment, take a proper rest and perform joint movements. So osteoarthritis, symptoms, no B enlargement of and and middle joints of the finger and it will affect hip knees and spine 
So if your mom or dad is suffering due to all this arthritis, please try to help them to do the daily chores. All right, now cancer. So we have seen so many people are suffering due to cancer in this modernized era. So what is the cancer? Cancer is an uncontrolled cell division that leads to abnormal growth which inwards adjacent tissues and may interfere in their activities. So uh, the branch of science that deals with the study and the treatment of the cancer is known as oncology. So most of the hospitals have the oncology department now because a lot of people are suffering due to various type of cancer like breast cancer and throat cancer like so many more bone marrow like a lot of cancers are now it is all because so many reasons and some are common like some we can identify some we cannot identify and all right nuclear radiation overexposure to the uv rays smoking or chewing tobacco are the common causes of the cancer and over here renal diseases malfunctioning of kidney many biochemical reactions takes place in our body right yes so due to some reasons if kidney is malfunctioning and waste materials are accumulating in our body the condition or condition is known as uremia understood yes so of the function of the kidney is removing the weight waste materials right so if your kidney won't work what will happen all the waste will accumulate in your body and this is this condition is known as uremia so what are the symptoms we will have high fever headache the patient may go to under coma and it will be very severe so please take note of this one allergy so most of the people will have allergy such as the skin rashes skin allergy dust allergy and so on right so which means we are hypersensitive to certain body tissues. Well, our body tissues will be uh, hypersensitive to certain substances. Okay, and the substances are known as allergens. Over here. Symptoms swelling on face, itching, redness on skin and stinging. Imagine that you are allergic to the dust. So if you are cleaning something and you are exposed to a lot of dust, what will happen? Sometimes you will start to sneeze and that will be uncontrollable and you will get itchy hands and skin. All this because of the allergen. The allergen is the dust. Right. All right. High fever and asthma are the two common allergies. Bites and stings. So the bites and stings of certain animals are dangerous and need to immediate medical attention. Some organisms are poisonous and painful causing great discomfort just like the snake. The bites of poisonous snake has two fang marks while of known poisonous snake is horseshoe shaped mark. First degree superficial burns skin becomes red. Have you ever exposed to the burning? So if you get the bones, what will happen? Suddenly your skin will turn to red color. Second degree, like serious burns, blisters will form. And third degree, severe burns. So for the first degree, you can use a cold water. And for the second degree, you can cover it with a clean bandage. And severe bones, what can you do? Apply an ice pack on it. And what are the ways of prevention of non-communicable diseases? And these are the common ways. The first one is regular health screenings and regular doctor checkups and no alcohol consumption. It's a big no and try to provide good nutrition. Exercising will help and accelerate the heart rate and breathing. Exercise is a very good one. I'm going to give two ticks for that. So no to chewing tobacco. It's a big no again. Quit smoking. It's a big no, right? All right, we can do all these things to prevent non-communicable diseases. And over here. So can you list some activities to live a healthy life? Such as exercise, proper nutrition and balanced diet, right? Yes, all right. 
activities to live a healthy life. Always eat clean and healthy food. Boil water before you consume it. Throw garbage in the garbage bins. Always wash your hands after and before the meal. Always cover your mouth and nose while sneezing. So what are the bad habits that lead to ill health? Such as tobacco addiction, drug addiction, addiction to fat food such as the processed and junk food, alcohol consumption and unhealthy lifestyle. So an unhealthy lifestyle will include all these things like alcohol consumption, addiction to fat food, addiction to sugary food, drug addiction and tobacco addiction. So if you will quit all these things, you can lead a healthy lifestyle. All right. The questions. So what are the steps that can be adopted to prevent communicable and non-communicable diseases? Please answer it. And question number two, what does arthritis explain any two kinds of arthritis? We have seen it, please answer that one. Question number three, explain cancer in brief. You can do it. So please make a note and please uh, put your comments in the chat box. So I'm gonna show you a fun fact. In 5,000 years of human history, only two diseases have been eradicated, smallpox and rinderpest. There are more germs on your phone, keyboard and cutting board than on a toilet seat. Wow, then you have to clean it all the time. Vaccines prevent more than 2.5 million deaths each year. So we used to take different vaccines according to our age, such as polio and everything. So can you remember one vaccine we need to take immediately right now in this time as a COVID vaccine? So this is the challenge of the day. What are the symptoms of COVID-19 and how it is different from flu and allergies? Can you please ask anyone? And please answer it. Yeah, you can ask your parents or you can Google it and find the answer for this one. Because COVID-19 is a serious illness rather than the flu and allergies. It will have a lot of symptoms and it can get worse by time. Okay, so we learned today about the type of communicable disease, ways to prevent communicable disease, non-communicable disease, ways to prevent non-communicable disease and good and bad habits. So everyone, for thank you for coming today. I hope you enjoy the session. And if you like the session, please like, comment and share. Thank you everyone. Be safe at home.